Hi, in this video we'll learn how to solve a multi-step equation and find the value of the unknown variable. Now here you can see in my equation I have parentheses and fraction. Usually when we have parentheses we first remove the parentheses to solve the equation, right? To simplify the equation. Um, so there are a couple of ways to solve this equation. The first way is you can use the distributive property and distribute one-third across 7x plus 5. And then at the next step, you can get rid of the denominator by multiplying your equation by three on both sides. The other way is, first of all, you get rid of the fraction and then you remove the parentheses. I'm gonna use the other method, the second method. First of all, I'm gonna get rid of my fraction and then I'll get rid of the parentheses. So to get rid of this fraction, I can just multiply my equation by three on both sides. So let's do that. So I'm gonna multiply all my terms by three. So let's do that three times one third and then seven X plus five is equal to three times three X and then minus five times three. Okay, now three and three will cancel out each other or three divided by three is one and one times one is one. So we just have one here and then here I have seven X plus five. This is equal to three times three X is gonna give me nine X and then minus five times three is gonna give me 15. So one times seven X plus five is gonna give me seven X plus five, right? And this is equal to nine X minus 15. Now you can see that I have variable terms on both sides of my equation. And whenever I have variable terms on both sides of my equation, I always eliminate the variable term which is smaller because that way I can avoid getting the negative coefficient with the variable. So here you see that 7x is smaller than 9x, so I'll choose 7x, I'll eliminate 7x now. So to eliminate 7x, I can subtract 7x on both sides. Subtracting 7x on both sides, so 7x minus 7x will be zero, and then I'm left with five is equal to nine x minus seven x is gonna give me two x, and then I have minus 15. Now we're gonna use the inverse operation to undo addition and subtraction, and then we're gonna use the inverse operation to undo multiplication and division, right? So this is two x minus 15. So uh, first of all, we have to undo subtraction. To undo subtraction, this is minus 15, so what is the inverse of subtracting 15? Well, that's gonna be adding 15. So I'm gonna add 15 on both sides of my equation. So five plus 15 is gonna give me 20, and this is equal to two X, and negative 15 and positive 15 will be zero, so this is gone. Now, we have two times X. What's the opposite of multiplying? Well, that's division, right? So we're gonna divide by, divide by two on both sides, and then 20 divided by two is gonna give me 10, and two and two is gonna cancel out each other. I'm only left with X here. So I can say that 10 is equal to X or X is equal to 10. And that's gonna be my final answer. So you can see that there, there are two different ways to solve this equation, but this is the simplest way to solve this equation. The other way is you use the distributive property to distribute one third inside. So this is one third times seven X is gonna give you seven third X. And then one third times five is gonna give you five third. Right, And then you'll have to eliminate the uh, fraction by multiplying both sides by three. So again, that's making the problem more complicated because you're distributing this inside the parentheses and then getting rid of the fraction. But here, what we did is we just multiplied both sides of the equation by three and we eliminated fraction and we then get rid of the parentheses. That's all in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new to this channel and want to see more videos on other math topics, be sure to subscribe down below and share it with your friends. See you in next video.